Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I'm so glad that you're here for today's video because it is time for another crafting tutorial. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to sublimate on some kitchen towels so that you can sell them. Or obviously to just make some for your own home. All right guys, so I get these towels from Amazon in a pack of 10 for $28, making them 280 each. And they are 16 inches by 24 inches. And they feel just like a microfiber towel. They're made of 80% polyester and 20% polyamide, but they do feel just like a microfiber towel, but because it has like this waffle knit pattern, I think it just makes it look a little bit better. I think the waffle knit is just a nice detail and I think it looks really good as just like a decorative kitchen towel. But obviously a lot of people use microfiber towels to dry dishes and stuff with, so it's perfect for that. But because they are made of 80% polyester, they sublimate beautifully. So I can't wait to show you guys. So we are gonna be using my iPad to print some designs off of Procreate. And then I'll be showing you guys how to create a design on Canva if you would like to. And we're gonna be printing those said designs on some ASUB sublimation paper with our sublimation printer. So I'm super excited to show you guys this, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm on my iPad using the app Procreate. This is where I design all of my designs when I'm not using Canva. Now, I actually got these designs off of Etsy, but anytime I download any design from a small business or Etsy, I always just upload them right to Procreate, especially for my kitchen towel designs because when you have a kitchen towel folded up, you do not need a full size sheet of paper for your design. You need a smaller design. So I just shrink them on Procreate and put two designs per page. So I just wanted to share that because you are saving a little bit of money by getting two designs per page versus printing these each on a single piece of paper because when you're running a small business, every penny counts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print these. So I'm gonna hit share. Let me just turn this around for you guys. And I just print PDF, best quality print. And then I'm gonna select my Epson. Okay, and then I'll just hit print. While I'm printing out our next design, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. So I just use a pair of scissors and I will just cut right in between those two designs like so. So now they are separate. And then I kind of just like to trim down the designs, but you don't have to do this. So we're ready to press our first towel and I have my heat press set to 375 on a 90 second timer. So I like to completely unfold my towel and then depending on what kind of design I'm doing, if I'm just doing like a normal design, I'm going to center it up on the bottom half of that towel, knowing how I'm gonna be folding the towel later. So as you can see, I have some of the towel kind of hanging over, but where we're gonna be pressing the design is right here, right in the center on the lower half. So I just like to kind of barely close my heat press on it just for a few seconds to kind of warm up the material and just to make sure you get out any moisture that's in there. So I can still see the line where the towel is folded in half. So I just kind of use that as my guide. And then I just kind of center up where the design needs to go like so and then you're going to take your butcher paper whatever you use and put it over your design and towel and again I'm pressing this for 90 seconds at 375 with light to light medium pressure and then just to get out like any other creases then I just lightly press the other part of that towel that was hanging off just so there's not any weird wrinkles or creases or anything like that. And voila, our kitchen towel is done and ready to be folded. And then I always just fold my towel like this, kind of fold it into thirds and fold it in half. And voila, the colors look so good. The black looks amazing. And how funny is that design?
All right guys, so I'm still on my iPad and I'm in the Canva app. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I would make like a patterned kitchen towel. But if you have Procreate, you could obviously do this on Procreate as well. I'm just trying to use some pre-made things to get this done a little more quickly and show you guys that if you can't draw, you can certainly use Canva for this. So I wanna make a cute mushroom pattern towel. So I like all these like kind of watercolor looking mushrooms. So I'm gonna be using these and I'm just gonna place them on here and kind of shrink them down and move them around. All right, so now that I've put all of those different like watercolor looking mushrooms on this page, now I'm ready to download it and print it. So I'm just gonna send it to Procreate like I was saying. So now when I open my Procreate, here is our download. And because it doesn't really matter which way I put this, I don't really need to mirror this like I would normally do if there was like text or something, or if a design was supposed to go a certain way. It doesn't really matter with this, so I don't really need to worry about that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print it. All right, so now I'm taking my mushrooms and I am just going to cut in between all of these, separating all of them so that we can lay them on our towel and create a pattern design. So now I'm just gonna take my little mushrooms and just kind of randomly place them all over, creating a little pattern. Okay, and then we're gonna press this and then we'll scoot it down and then we'll press the remaining part of the towel that's hanging off right now. All right, so as you can see, we have a cute little mushroom pattern going on. So now we are ready to fold up our towel. And voila. All right, y'all, and there you have it. That is how you sublimate some kitchen towels. So again, if you do sublimation, I definitely recommend trying these kitchen towels out. They're just so easy to do and they come out so good every time. All right, guys, well, that's where I'm gonna leave you guys today. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And don't forget, I will be sure to link all of the supplies that I used in today's video down in the video description for you guys. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my future videos. I would greatly appreciate the follow. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.